something a little different for dinner tonight. I'm going to make stuffed acorn squash. Now I know that a lot of you are going to say squash, yuck! But I think this is different enough that uh, even the kids would eat it. Well these are acorn squash. They're kind of an ugly thing but uh, they're fall, it ripened in the fall, and they turn from this to yellow to finally red. But the red ones are usually over ripe and not nearly as well suited for stuffing as the there's the green ones, which are are ripe, but they haven't changed color. <clears throat> you want to get a couple that uh, level on the bottom end here, so they'll stand up straight. This one doesn't do a very good job of it, so I'll see if I can take a bit off the stem here in the bottom. Well, that's standing up a little better, so what I want to do is cut the end off here to where it becomes level. And a serrated knife is almost a necessity for this. They are pretty tough things before they're cooked. Well, that's not... and that <laughs> angled the wrong way. and using a spoon you want to uh, create a opening in the bottom of it here and then go in and dig out the seeds. I'm going to get a smaller knife so I can open that up better. Well, I fought my way into it and got the hardest part done. And you just go around in there with this, with a spoon and dip the seeds out. By the way, uh, if you've ever eaten roasted pumpkin seed, this is the same thing you can roast these seeds, and they're pretty good snacks. Get all the seeds out. Uh, there's a few more in there. And got them all cleaned out on both of the squash. Okay, we've got some onions here going to dice them. Now you can use just about any kind of vegetables that you want in here, whatever you, can, you have. Or, uh, There's that, and then a couple pieces of celery here. That's diced ham over there. takes more to fill these things than you think it does. They, they're pretty good size on the inside. And finally the thing that is kind of basic to these is 
peas and carrots. This is part of a package here. I'll mix it in with the others and look at it and see what I think. And now I guesstimated that this bowl here would be about the right amount for these two here, so I'm going to go with that. Got this all mixed up here, and I'll just start spooning it in. Drop a couple things there. This is about half this bowl of vegetables here, and it looks like it's just about filled this squash there. So I'll work on filling the other one here. When you think you have them about full, you want to go in there and pack it back into the sides because just pouring it in there with a spoon doesn't really fill in all the crevices and things like that. That one like like quite a bit being cool here. And when you have it just about full as it's going to go, leave a little space in the top. equivalent of about two pats of butter in on top of each one. that down with your spoon and once that's all in there it's ready to go into the oven I forgot to mention at the time I salted and peppered the uh, filling that went in there and got a little left over here and that'll probably go in a burrito in the morning who knows where it'll go you know uh, but these are ready to go in the oven and they'll take about 45 minutes in the oven at about uh, 300 degrees to cook. So I'm going to leave them sitting here until time to put in the oven for dinner tonight. Okay, here it is on the table after an hour in the oven at about uh, 300. And it checks out and it looks like it's soft and ready to eat. Okay, here, yeah, it's nice and soft. It's all done. Check this out and see how it tastes. That is good. Why don't you go ahead and
and digging yours and so you can taste it. That is a good dish. By the way, several of you have asked why I sit in the chair and use a walker. I did a little short video to show you why. For you folks who have wondered why I have to sit in a, a chair when I'm cooking, I have lymphedema. That is a condition where uh, the lymph li liquids, your blood, pools in your legs and, and causes your feet to swell and uh, when standing. And so the treatment for that is to get that lymph fluid moved back up in your body so it can ultimately go to your ki your kidneys and out from there. This is called a lower extremity compression machine and it has two big sock looking things there and they start in at the bottom and they have eight stages and it starts squeezing in one after the other coming up until it's applied pressure all the way up here and then it uh, this machine over here is what runs it and uh, I have to be on this 30 minutes each day to keep that uh, lymph fluid up the way it should be. So just to answer that question as to why I have to sit in a chair while doing a cooking video. And God bless America, God bless Texas, and where else would you find a picture like this? Bye.